Are you using OBS and get the encoder overloaded error? Well, in today's video, I'll show you how you can possibly fix that. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. First things first, why that error even shows up is because your PC is probably bottlenecking. Something is not working fine and your PC cannot handle it anymore. Like your game is just too strong for it or something else is going on. I'll show you some possible fixes and what you can do to actually help reduce that problem or even just get rid of it fully. So first, what you should do is probably update your OBS. Usually OBS updates fix a lot of errors and even improve performance in the recent versions. So update your OBS and see if that fixes it. That's like the easiest thing to do. If the error shows up when you're playing the game, make sure to go into the game itself and then lower the in-game settings. Make sure to also enable VSync. That way it locks your FPS to your monitor uh, refresh rate. That way it does not go above it and it just does not push the GPU too much. Usually if it pushes the GPU too much, it will not be able to handle it and then OBS will start lagging. If you limit it, it will not push it too much. The GPU will have extra resources to go into the OBS itself for the recording or streaming and it will not lag. So enable VSync and lower your GPU or your video settings in general. That way you can actually handle the newer games or even older games, depending on what you're trying to record or stream. If you've done all of those and you still haven't fixed the issue, what you can go ahead and do is click on the settings in OBS itself. Over here, you will see a bunch of different settings. So you don't want to change anything on this screen, but you do want to go to output over here and then change your streaming or recording settings, depends on what you're actually having issues with. So if it's recording, go to recording over here, and then what you can do is change your video encoder. This is where the problem usually starts and what usually happens that causes the encoding overload to you know appear. So what's the video encoder? It's basically what is used to encode everything that is being recorded, either your GPU or your CPU. If you have the new NVIDIA GPUs, you'll be able to use the NVIDIA NVENC H.264, which is highly, highly recommended. If you don't have NVIDIA GPU, you might have QuickSync uh, HEVC or H.264. Try both of those. They're amazing. Or if you don't have any of these settings, you can use X264, which is the CPU encoder. This is what most people use at the beginning, and they have a lot of issues because the CPU cannot handle both streaming or recording and gaming at the same time. So make sure to, if you are using X264, use either QuickSync or NVIDIA NVENC HEVC or H.264. Those are the best ones for performance. It will not use a lot of resources on your GPU and it will be able to handle gaming and everything else at the same time. So once you've changed your encoder, you go down over here and you change your bitrate. If the bitrate number is higher, the quality of the video will be better. If it's lower, it will be worse. So if you're having issues, make sure to lower your bitrate to like 8K if you're using 10K. 10K is like the average for like some kind of average quality of the video. You can go down to 8K or even 6K. I would not go below that as the video footage will just look bad and it will be unwatchable anyway. And you can also change the preset. So if you are using the NVIDIA NVENC, you can go into the presets and you will have these presets from P1 to P7, slowest being the best quality, and then high, uh, the lowest number being, or fastest, being the lowest quality. So you want to go in and change these numbers depending on when the issue stops. So like just keep going uh, faster and faster and faster until you see the issue stop. Obviously, the fastest you go, the worst quality will be. So find like a middle ground where the footage looks all right and it does not look, you know, too bad. So find the middle ground and then you will be set up over there. You can also change the tuning to a uh, low latency or ultra low latency. That way you're not using high quality and your GPU will not struggle as much. What you can also do is go to a video over here and then you will see the resolution. So depending on your monitor resolution, your base canvas resolution should be set to your monitor, which for me is 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, set it to 1080p. But then the output scaled resolution should be something lower than that if your GPU cannot handle it. So I have it set to 2K because I recorded 2K. But if you have like a 2K monitor and you want to record a 1080p, I would highly recommend that. Or even if you really are struggling, you can go 720p, which is 1280 by 720. So change your resolution to the lower one. That way 
you know, your PC is not going to struggle as much. Uh, you can use 60 FPS if you're gaming, 30 FPS if you're just recording a talking head video just like this one. You don't need to use 60. So again, if you're struggling, you can go to 30. Maybe that fixes your issue as well. Those are some general things that should help you with the encoding overloaded issue. It's usually caused by the PC bottlenecking and it just, you know, cannot run the two things at the same time, like recording or streaming and gaming at the same time. So you need to lower some things until it works fine. You can lower some graphic settings or lower your OBS settings. And that's basically it. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop the like. It would mean the world. And let me know down in the comments below if this helped you. Also, if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.